Why did Argentina not pay its professional women's soccer players until this year? The story in today's World Cup Daily. Argentina may still be looking for its first win of the 2019 Women's World Cup, but the Argentines have been one of the most impressive teams considering their circumstances. The nation hadn't made the tournament since 2007 and entered having been outscored 33-2 in its prior two World Cup appearances. After failing to qualify for the 2015 World Cup, the Argentina Football Association dismissed its head coach and did not replace him. And the AFA played no games at all between 2015 and 2017. In 2017, the players wrote a public letter complaining of the conditions they were working in. They refused to appear for the team until the AFA paid them $8.50 per day for training and scheduled matches at their disposal. Earlier this year, Argentina player Macarena Sanchez took to social media to try and get the AFA to recognize her country's women as professionals. In March, as a result of more public attention, the AFA agreed that each of the league's 16 clubs must have contracts with at least eight players. Gabby Garzon, a goalkeeper for the national team, said that while it's not enough to earn a living on just football, it's, quote, a whole lot better than the nothing many of us earned before. Come Wednesday, Argentina is looking to make another major statement on the pitch. Here's what else you need to know. Both England and Japan have already advanced out of Group D, but both teams still have seating on the line when they meet on Wednesday. The Argentines are looking to continue their miraculous run, and a win would go a long way in potentially having them advance. Be sure to check out SI.com and Sports Illustrated's social media feeds for World Cup coverage all tournament long.